Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hang a picture and hide a wall safe. Okay, so I'm gonna center the safe in between these two doors. So I'm gonna take a few measurements and then use a level and a square to make sure that my outline for my opening is gonna be square and parallel. Uh, spoiler alert, this was somewhat a waste of a time because the safe itself, um, being a cheap one from Amazon, ended up not being square. With the opening traced out, the next thing I'm gonna do is use an oscillating tool with a drywall blade to cut out the opening. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can cut drywall, including the cheapest being just using a razor blade. Um, but I find that the oscillating tool with this blade gives you the, the cleanest, straightest cut um, with a minimal amount of mess. Now, there's always gonna be a decent amount of mess when cutting drywall, so you can, you can also hold up a uh, shop vac here while you're doing this to limit the amount of dust that you're getting in the room. Now it's the camera. Almost. Why are you Whoa, look at that. Ta-da! In quick tip, you'll notice that I had a screw in that piece of drywall. That was just simply so that I had something to grab onto if the drywall was going to fall back into the wall. Um, now you can see that I switched the cutter on the oscillating tool over to a wood blade and I'm removing this section of the stud that's in the way of the safe being installed. With the drywall and the stud removed, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick test fit on the safe to make sure that the opening is the appropriate size before I move on to adding additional support into the opening uh, to secure this, the safe permanently. So the next thing we have to do is we got to put in some um, two by fours to go from the stud that we cut to the stud that remains in the wall. Uh, we're going to put in four of those. So one, two, three, and four. Once we have those in, then we're going to come back and we're going to add one more right there and one more right there. Basically, we're making a box. Now, to make this a little bit easier on myself, what I decided to do was head downstairs to the shop and go ahead and pre-cut all of the two by four supports, as well as pre-drill a bunch of pocket holes. Um, here, I'm just starting the screws so that when I'm setting all of these pieces in the wall, uh, it's it's a little bit easier because it's it's pretty tight fitting the impact driver behind the drywall. So prepping the material for this next step makes it a lot easier. Okay, now I have the opening framed out all the way around all four sides. And this is pretty much where you'd be starting at if you had done this right between um, two studs right in the middle of the stud bay. You wouldn't have had to mess around with, with any of this at all. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fit the safe into the opening. And as long as it fits and looks level, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it in. It's just six quick screws right into the side studs. Okay, that fits pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in and when I'm putting them in, I'm gonna angle them so that they go into the wall to suck it back in a little bit with it. So I'll include links to all the tools I used as well as the, the products I used in the description. Um, one thing I did want to mention, this was a $90 safe from Amazon. Um, you definitely getting what you pay for. I took I took my time to make sure that the the cutout on the wall was perfectly square, perfectly level, and it was somewhat um, somewhat futile because the safe itself actually isn't square. The um, the metal frame of it. So no matter no matter what I do, um, it's never going to look perfectly perfectly square. Um, the other thing is, is the, the seams aren't very tight, so the door itself has different thicknesses of seams 
all the way around it. So th this is a good safe for like keeping things, you know, away from your kids or, or deterring a robbery. This is definitely not anything that's going to be fire rated. Um, so I, I wouldn't suggest buying this, you know, if you're, if you're storing passports or any other important documents, unless you get some of those fire bags to, to put in. Uh, the other thing about this safe is it is, it's relatively small. It, it's a wall shape safe. So you only have, um, about three inches of depth. Now the top and the bottom are relatively usable space, but just by the thickness of the, the deadbolt area this middle shelf is just about useless unless you have something that's like a half an inch thick um, but this 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 will serve my purposes um, the other thing you can do here too is you can basically turn this into um, you know a, a tactical wall a very cheap one um, you can simply insert magnets in here to to hold um, any type of smaller handgun that you like to hold in there or or anything else for that matter um, all right, so the the next step now that the safe is in the wall, um, we're gonna go ahead and work on making it um, a concealed safe and, and making a picture frame that folds open that will totally conceal the safe. I'm gonna show you how to install this over the safe and still allow for it to open. So what we have to do is we have to modify this slightly. If I were to take a hinge and just put it directly on here and try to open this, it's only going to open up to 90 degrees. And unfortunately, that's not far enough because we're going to have the safe door as well that needs to open. So if the picture opens to 90 degrees and the safe door opens up against it, the safe door will be opening to less than 90 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a frame to the wall to bring the picture away from the wall. And what this will do is it will allow us to pivot on the frame, which is going to allow the picture to open up way past the 90 degree angle, um, which in turn will allow the safe to open up to at least the 90 degree angle. Now this is going to be a super simple mitered frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is take measurements directly from the back of the picture because the frame is going to match the exact size uh, and shape of the picture. Once I have the size down, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my strips of, in this case, white oak um, to the proper lengths and miter each of the corners. The only technical part to this frame is going to be the fact that I'm going to mortise in the hinges. And mortising in the hinges is just gonna allow me to get the barrel of that hinge fully behind the, the picture so that it doesn't look like the, the picture was ever meant to open. Um, the hinge is gonna be fully concealed in the frame itself. And the last bit of work on the frame before we go ahead and paint it is just gonna be using a Forstner bit to drill out a little recess in order to insert a magnet. And this magnet's gonna be used as the latch to hold the picture closed against the frame when it is concealed. And then a real quick coat of paint. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the hinges directly into the back of the picture. And I'm putting the hinges into the picture instead of to the frame because we still have to secure the frame to the wall uh, when we bring everything upstairs. Uh, putting the hinges onto the picture is just gonna make the final assembly a little bit easier rather than having to fumble getting the hinges attached to the back of the picture while it's on the wall. Okay, with the frame complete, we're gonna go ahead and get the frame installed onto the wall. Uh, if you remember, the safe itself wasn't square, so we do need to make sure that when we're installing the frame, uh, the frame is level and square, so that visually when you're looking at the, the, the final picture and frame covering the safe, um, everything is aligned properly. So I'll go ahead and I'll use my level and use my square to get everything perfectly aligned and tack it to the wall using my brad nailer.
So now I'm just going to go ahead and hang the picture and that's going to be as simple as screwing the hinges into the frame. And here's a few pictures of the final product. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos.